Hi guys, it's Daniel. I just want to show off a queen trap that exists in the Jobava London. And it's a very common trap, alright? This happens all the time. Uh, it involves black playing an early queen move and trying to pick off a pawn that's undefended. And it's actually a poison pawn. It is a terrible move. So it, usually, let's just go off a, a little line here. Just kind of illustrate the idea, right? So we just we just play play logically, right? Go for the Jobava. They bring a knight out, and we just we just play logically, right? All logical moves so far. Now this this is maybe not quite so logical, but it's mainly to highlight the to illustrate the point, right? So they bring a queen out, early queen move. Now this this is how you trap this queen. You don't defend the pawn. Don't defend the pawn, right? Don't do it. Let them have it. But you want to guard this square. You want to control this square right here. You see this square that I'm highlighting? You gotta guard that square! Because it's an escape square. So you have to push this pawn. Now the queen will never be able to go there, right? Then they take the pawn. Oh my gosh, I just blundered a pawn! I blundered a pawn! Well, then you move your knight here, right? It attacks the queen, guards this square, this pawn guards this square, this pawn guards this square, this bishop guards this square, this knight guards this square. The rook guards all these squares. It's a trapped queen. Oh my goodness, the queen is trapped. Best move here is actually to take the rook and lose your queen. Well, black loses their queen. Alright, and this, believe it or not, this actually works. You can have some extremely complicated positions in the Jobava London. And if they go out here with their queen, nine times out of ten, it's a bad move to take that undefended pawn. Nine times out of ten. Now, not always the case. There's actually a line in which it's perfectly okay for black to take that pawn. And honestly, do quite well. So we go back. We go back to when this move got played. And a lot of lines, they'll actually develop a bishop, right? They'll develop the light square bishop. Then you push this pawn. Now let's say black just goes for that same idea of going for their queen. So we go here, right? Now this is not the correct move. Typically you would want to challenge that bishop right away. But now let's say they go here and we go for the same idea. Now the queen takes that pawn, you go for the trap. You're like, oh my goodness, I am taking the queen. I'm going to take their queen, it's trapped. The queen actually has this move. <laughs> because the bishop's here. So it doesn't quite work in that, right? in that. But nine times out of ten, it will work. You could even have lines where you trade off this bishop with this bishop, and you control this square. You know, not you know, it can still work. But this is a, this is a pretty nasty trap, and I kind of wanted to show a game. This game right here, actually, I actually played this game earlier today. Uh, this so this is an actual position that I had. I have. Pretty nice development, right? They brought their early queen out. And sure enough, they tried to go for the pawn, right? Now this is actually pretty cool, because I had traded off this pawn. So naturally you might think, oh he's going to have an escape square out here. But obviously I went for I went for that line. And this knight actually covered all the escape squares. The queen was actually still trapped. And the game actually went kind of cool, right? Went there. And we ended up having kind of a nice little tactical position here where I was able to sacrifice my rook, the rook or whatever you however Gotham checks chess says it. And in this position my opponent resigned. It was actually just kind of a pretty cool game. Made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside of my heart. I felt so good. You know, got a nice little queen trade. Queen trade. Nice little queen trap. And just kinda of, it's just kind of a cool little trap to get because honestly. It's one that works. I, I, I play the Jabava London all the time, and I think I've had probably that queen trap at least a dozen or so times. I mean, it, legitimately, it's a good one to know because, you know, when you play it, you, when you get the chance to play it, it works. And it, it, it just, you know, makes you feel all great inside. Because, <laughs> like, oh, you got, you got this queen, oh, you know. So, any hoodles, hopefully you guys, you know, get some value out of this. And be able to win some queens, win some games, and play just an absolutely fantastic opening. And yeah, one of my favorites. Anyways, toodles. Sayonara. I don't know. Hitting the stop.